Hi, this is uh, Daily Devotions for Monday, August 10th, 2020. Uh, today, instead of pulling something out of the Bible, uh, I decided to, to pull something out of the hymn book. Uh, before I do that, though, um, I, I want to talk to you about um, maybe the role these songs can have for us uh, during our time of COVID. Uh, I know some of you are very musical, and in fact, uh, this choir room uh, might be your domain uh, here at the church. And we, we really appreciate uh, all the ways that uh, you share music with us, uh, and, and that is gorgeous. Uh, but I, I also want to remind all the rest of us who, I, I never learned to read music, uh, and uh, my pitch is questionable at best. Um, but um, it's not really uh, about us uh, when it comes, or maybe it is, but it, it's not about us in the way you think uh, when it comes to music in the church. I think God likes it when we sing hymns of praise to God uh, because of the way that it opens us up, in the way that it presents us to God. Now, uh, certainly, uh, I can enjoy uh, a beautifully sung song, and it really is a, a skill uh, to sing well. But that is music that is intended for other people, and that, ha too, has a certain place. But music to God's ear um, is much more about uh, the act of opening our hearts up to God. Now, the beautiful thing about music is that when we do that with others, we can open up our hearts in front of each other to God. I know some of you uh, have gotten very... Um, negative messages sometimes about your your, your voice. Uh, my mom was a good singer and we always went to choir but uh, I think I was given my dad's ear uh, and my dad uh, never sang well uh, but he always sang loud and as kids we would sometimes like uh, uh, enjoy finding this weakness in my dad and we would tease him about him, but it, it, it never held him back. Um, and I hope uh, that I've inherited that from him. Uh, the ability to remember that when we sing uh, songs to God, whether alone or with others, then the depth of what we sing opens up something in our hearts, especially, not exclusively, but especially when we sing songs that were written by the church to remind us of the work of Christ. Like I said, my mom had a beautiful voice, but I don't remember her public performances. Uh, one of the things I remember is uh, waking up at night and uh, being restless, and sometimes even, you know, when you're a kid and you're sick and you've had a bad dream or a fever, and you can't go to sleep and you're a little bit afraid. Instead of, a, I'm sure she sang me some lullabies, but instead of just children's lullabies, sometimes uh, she sang to me uh, songs that she knew. And I realized the power of those words uh, were, were there. Sometimes uh, when I'm, uh, wrapped up about something and I'm worried about something and I ask God to guide me, it, it's just as often that a line from a hymn will come to me as, as any a verse of scripture. And um, sometimes when that, that line of a song comes into your heart, they call it an earworm. You know, you just can't, you can't shake it. Uh, you just say it to yourself over and over. I think God likes that. I think God likes 
getting into our thoughts with something that God wants us to hear and knows that sometimes we just have to hear it over and over and over again before we let go and start to trust. At the end of uh, my father's life, uh, my mom died quickly. My father had uh, many moments of hospitalization. It wasn't all dark or dismal, but he was slipping farther and farther away from us. And uh, just sometimes conversation wouldn't work. And I remember precious moments of sitting alone with him or sometimes with other members of my family. And we sang hymns that I know that he had learned even as a child. And uh, there was a calmness that came over his body as my croaking voice uh, would sing back to him. If you'd like a hymnal uh, to borrow it at this time, let me know. Uh, we, can, we can get a hymnal to your house and you can bring it back when you come back to worship. Uh, we're not gonna be using the hymnals even when we go to in-person worship for a while because of the problem of cleaning things up, but that doesn't mean you can't have a hymnal that you can keep for a while at home. Uh, and uh, maybe open it up and maybe you won't have the ability to play the piano or uh, to sing something perfectly on key. But maybe you can find that familiar song that you need to hear. Um, and just by yourself, you can sing it to God. I'd like to finish with one of the songs that my uh, mom used to sing to me sometimes uh, when I was restless and having a hard time going to sleep. Uh, so um, I'm going to read it to you uh, uh, just so you can hear these words. I'll praise to thee, my God, this night for all the blessings of the light. Keep me, O oh, keep me, King of kings, beneath thine own almighty wings. Forgive me, Lord, for thy dear Son, the ill that I this day have done, that with the world, myself and thee, I ere I sleep, at peace may be. Teach me to live that I may dread the grave as little as my bed. Teach me to die that so I may rise glorious at that awesome day. O oh, may my soul in thee repose and may sweet sleep mine eyelids close. Sleep that shall me more vigorous make to serve my God when I awake. I'm gonna to sing to you the last verse and I think you know it. So if nobody's else around, you can sing it with me. Praise God from whom all blessings flow. Praise God, all creatures here below. Praise God above, ye heavenly hosts. Praise Father, Son, and Holy Ghost. Amen. Take care.